let's see this is the first video I'm going to record about the GCU LMS so if you're using any browser like I'm using torch these days so you need to type www.gcuktp.org and you will reach this website this website loads depending on your internet speed and uh, your computer speed it will take um, a few seconds to load as the page loads you can see the introduction on the page it's a welcome note to GCU learning management system you can read about GCU LMS what it is used for so our learning management system allows teachers to create e-learning content organize it into courses deliver the content so you can read about uh, the benefits of using a learning management system the features that it has and um, then the courses which have been uploaded and there are more courses which are coming up uh, you can view all the courses from here but a simplest thing first time when you come to the website you should go to the right top corner click on login and put in your username and password to log in so I put in my username and password and click login and I can log on to the website as I log in I will land on my course home page as a teacher I will see all the courses which I'm teaching or on the courses in which I'm enrolled in as a teacher so currently I'm teaching the three courses so I can see three courses on my home page on the left hand side you see the menu with the mouse over you can see the details of the menu if you click on this burger stack button you can see the full menu if you want to see a fuller screen you can click it and this menu slides towards the left if you want to see full screen you can click on toggle full screen button and you can see the full screen from recent link you can see the recent courses that you have accessed and from the language you can choose the language in which you are viewing the courses in so go back to the normal view you can click on the toggle screen button and you come back to the normal view the first thing you should do after you've logged in is to go and edit your profile so on the right top corner corner you'll see the name with which you have logged in if you have added a picture for the first time you would not have so you go click on this and add it to your profile you'll see your profile of course when you uh, go to your profile for the very first time you will not see your picture because it has not been added as yet uh, similarly your description may not be there and the other information may not be there as well so this is what you're going to do for the first time so you can see the courses that you are enrolled in as a teacher and you can edit your profile the brief profile in, uh, editing can be done from here if you want to edit further details you click on this gear button here and you can go to edit profile and you can see then the complete form in which you can check your username change your password from here you can view your current password and you can change and set a new password from here you can make sure the spellings of your first name your surname and your email address are correct if you want to allow people to see your email or if you want to hide your email on the website you can do that make sure that you have selected the right city and the country because that determines the time zone on the website for your course and then here you can enter a brief description about yourself you can type it uh, here or you can copy and paste your brief description into this um, editor box uh, moving further down you can check uh, if you have a picture you can delete it and add a new picture from here if you have a picture you can drag it into your uh, in this box and it will be added picture description you can add how you want your profile to appear so you can add a full name additional items uh, additional names if you have a different name from your surname or your first name you can add from here your interests like I've added e-learning technology management I can add marketing enter and it will be added here so you can add your interests you can delete or re-add again 
similarly if you have other web page address icq number skype id uh, yahoo id msn institution name department phone mobile address anything that you want to add this is all additional information it's not required but uh, it builds your profile information so you can update the information from here i've not added anything so i'll just cancel it and i'll go back to my profile page to go back to the main page you'll go to the dashboard and here you'll see all the courses you're teaching in this semester